Calibri, the handheld 3D scanner, is perfect for digitizing objects of various sizes and shapes. It can capture objects from 30 cm to 10 meters in length, and its built-in touchscreen and proprietary algorithms make the workflow seamless and effortless. Calibri is lightweight and portable, making it easy to use on the go. It captures data quickly and accurately even for objects with little or no geometry. Furniture is one of the trickiest objects to scan. It's important to keep in mind that some materials, such as chrome frames, very dark or velvet fabrics, require sufficient scanning skills from a user. Given the peculiarities of the object, think through all the important scanning steps in advance. Planning the scanning trajectory beforehand is crucial, especially for furniture with similar elements or thin legs or backs. Make sure to always keep in the frame some fragments of the chair that is not like the others, that will help the scanner stay on track. Also, make sure you have enough space to move around the chair freely. The more space you have, the better. Pick proper settings. We use default settings because they are optimal in most cases and when scanning furniture. Don't forget to enable live 3D mode. It helps you see if you've missed something during scanning. Once you've digitized the chair, the post processing is pretty simple and straightforward. First, click settings and set the post processing parameters. You can either choose one of the presets with optimal settings for typical tasks or set all the parameters manually. Then start the registration. This process optimizes the point cloud made by the scanner and it can also remove unnecessary noise if needed. On the next step, you can use priority mode to select important areas or to mark the rest as needless. In this case, we only need the chair, so we mark everything else as support geometry. These areas will not be included in the final model. As you can see, in priority mode, important areas are golden and needless areas are light green. Now we are ready to start finalization. On this stage, Nest generates a polygonal model based on the selection we've made on the previous step and with the settings specified previously. After finalization is complete, you can inspect the result. Many objects are difficult to scan from all sides on one go, so some areas may be missing. That's why it is a good idea to flip the object to the other side and make another scan. Just as we did in this example. The processing of the second scan is pretty much the same. Now we have to merge these scans together, but first we have to align them so that they are in the right orientation in respect to each other. To do so, align mode is used. Pick at least three common points on the results and make sure the preview looks more or less correctly. There is no need to be super precise on that stage. Alignment algorithm will find the optimal position for the scans and fix small deviations. Now the scans are aligned, but they are not merged yet. These are still separate scans positioned correctly. To combine them together, select the scans, click multiple processing and confirm priority mode activation to exclude needless data from the final model. Selected scans will be processed as a single set of data and the final result will appear in the list on the left. If any smaller holes still remain on the model, use Nest Hole Filling tool to fix that.
Now the model is ready, but it is also possible to add the color data to it if needed. Click Texturize button to do so. If the model is too complex, Nest will suggest to simplify it to make texturing faster. New texturized result will appear on the left side shortly. The models are now ready and can be saved for further use. As you can see, Calibri provides a highly accurate and detailed 3D model of the chair, which makes this device ideal for many applications. Make sure to follow our guidelines and recommendations, and then even the most difficult objects will be scanned effortlessly. For more information, you can always contact our technical support team at support at thor3dscanner.com.